Today we're going to talk about what increased intracranial pressure looks like. As the patient's intracranial pressure begins to rise, the nurse will begin to notice certain signs and symptoms. Early signs of increased intracranial pressure include changes in level of consciousness, such as drowsiness, agitation, and restlessness. There may also be slowed speech or a delayed response, particularly to verbal suggestions. Later signs of increased intracranial pressure include stupor, reacting only to painful stimuli, comatose, posturing, flaccidity, pupils fixed and dilated, and a widening pulse pressure. Let's take a look at the late signs of increased intracranial pressure. Decorticate posturing occurs when there is abnormal flexion of the upper extremities. This receives a Glasgow Coma Scale score of 3. You'll notice that the extremities are extremely flexed as if being drawn in with a blind cord. With decerebrate posturing, you'll notice that there is abnormal extension of the upper extremities. The extremities are extremely stretched out. This is worse than decorticate posturing because there is a Glasgow coma value of 2. Even worse than posturing is becoming flaccid, much like a limp noodle. This means that the patient has no response whatsoever and receives a Glasgow coma scale value of 1. Another ominous sign of increased intracranial pressure are pupils that are fixed and dilated, meaning they do not respond to any form of light, no matter how bright it is. At this point, brainstem herniation is imminent, and the patient will begin to experience a widened pulse pressure, which occurs when the systolic blood pressure begins to elevate and the diastolic blood pressure begins to decrease. Unfortunately, the presence of late signs of increased intracranial pressure mean your patient has a very poor prognosis. Therefore, it is essential that nurses recognize the early signs of increased intracranial pressure and act abruptly. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll talk about nursing and medical management of patients with increased intracranial pressure. See you soon!